Hi and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. And today I'm going to be doing a search for early spring flowers. I'm in the most amazing location here. Um, there's a stately home behind me, part of the National Trust, but down there there are some woodland and they're absolutely amazing at this time of year for wild garlic and bluebells in particular and numerous other kinds of flowers. And what I'll be doing today is capturing some different compositions of the wild garlic and the bluebells in context of the woodland, but also getting some close-up detail. So I'll show a different number of composition techniques. I'm not going to go through the difference between macro and telephoto. I've done that in another video. So after this one, please check that video out. So let's head on into the, uh, the real depth of this wood. It's early spring still but uh, we should be able to get some really good compositions. And I just wish that we had smelly vision. Would that be such a thing? Because the smell of this wild garlic is absolutely phenomenal. I found a composition now which contains both the wild garlic and the bluebells in the background. There's a small pool here. Let me just spin you around and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we've got the wild garlic and then we've got the pond, and then in the distance, right over there, we've got some bluebells. So I'm gonna use here, I've got my lens on around about 120 mil. I've got, let me spin you around again, and I will show you the composition that I'm talking about. So what we've got is the wild garlic in the foreground, and we've got the bluebells, just a row of bluebells in the background. So let's capture that. I've got it on two second time just to let it settle. Really like that image. I've got it at one eighth. I've got it at F9. What I want is to make sure all the foreground flowers are in focus and the background is blurred. So we've got some lovely bouquet on that. Please feel free to drop any comments on your favorite images as we go through this walk today. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button as we continue our little walk. So we've taken an image or two now of the context of the wild garlic in the woods at the moment. We'll move on to the bluebells a little bit later, but I want to really focus in on capturing the wild garlic a little bit more close up. So I've got this absolutely lovely composition that I've found. Um, let me just spin you around and show you. So what we've got here is this little group of wild garlic flowers. Really beautiful, early spring. They're absolutely, you can see there's still some to come through. We have these ones absolutely pristine at this time of year. We've got these leaves coming up into the background and then we've got the texture of the tree trunk in the background, the little hole just disappearing into the distance where the roots are. Absolutely love this composition. As you can see, I've got the flowers in the image just there. I've got this leaf framing it as well. The texture in the background and the leaves at the bottom just framing it, keeping the eye in the image and focusing all of our eye line onto the actual flowers themselves. I've got the polarizer on, although it's an overcast day, um, I do have the polarizer on just to cut out reflective light on the green. So that's absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to capture this image. Let me know what you guys think. I've got this down at f6.3 because I want to make sure that the flowers are sharp, but I want the tree in the background to be slightly defocused just so it gives us that context and continues to draw the eye onto the flowers. Okay, we've got the context. I've got a little bit of uh, the detail now. I'm going to go just around the corner. Now, when I was here last spring, the trail went through the fields of wild garlic. So let's head on down there. Absolutely beautiful. And then we'll get on to the bluebells. So I've been really struggling with the, to get a good composition of the trail because the trail is so much wider than it used to be. It used to be a small footpath winding its way through the wild garlic. Now it is so wide, you can almost drive a vehicle through it. So it's really lost its photogenic nature. But I found this really small bit that actually makes a great composition. So you can see here, this is actually the farm track that I'm talking about, that vehicles are now coming up that used to be a single footpath. But we've got this little bit of old stuff left that just winds its way through. And then you've got the tree in the background. So here's my composition. We've got the trail coming up through the center. Let me get rid of the info. Well, you can see I'm at 120th F 6.3. I'm actually gonna increase that. I want to get my, when it gets to about F 13, focus point 
just there to make sure I've got a good depth of field leading through the flowers. You can see now I've got, I've get rid of the info, you can get the sense of the trail going in, veering to the left, right through the middle of the image, the fields of wild garlic spread it, spreading into the distance. Still like this image though, absolutely lovely, and I'm now gonna go on and in search of bluebells and see what else I can find. So I've just found some <laughs> bluebells surrounded by wild garlic, absolutely brilliant. Let me just show you what I found. So you can see the wild garlic in the foreground. Then we've got those little bluebells and then we've got the field of wild garlic in the background. There is a little bit of green, some bramble and stuff in between so that I can maximise the, the effect of the wild garlic in the foreground and background around and surrounding the bluebells. I've set my tripod really low. You can see my composition here. Got the bluebells right in the centre. Got a nice bouquet. Let me get rid of the info. Got the nice bouquet in the background. Got the nice garlic in the foreground. Really love this composition. Just needed to be careful. Make sure that the bluebell doesn't intersect with the wild garlic in the background. Just those subtle things when composing images, you just need to keep an eye on. I really, really like the composition of that image. Okay, time for the macro lens. This is the bluebell I have in mind. This is, it's just though it's kind of pretty isolated. It's covered in bramble, this bank, but there's four or five bluebells isolated. But what this bank allows us to do is get up and under and over and inside using the macro lens. You can see my composition here. I've got the main flower at the top. You can see the pollen and the stamen inside. Same with the one in the bottom right. I love the three of them. I love the arc at the top that just constrains and draws the eye back in. Love the one at the bottom that's slightly out of focus. At the moment, I've got it at one quarter of a second. Gotta make sure there's no wind movement at all. It's just slightly, slightly out. There we go, right on the edge of the macro lens. Got it at F11. Let's capture that image. Just enough bokeh in the background. Really lovely image. Absolutely delightful. And with the macro lens, I've done my gardening. If you guys know from my macro and close-up video, I love to put things behind. And in this case, I've put a log behind this single bluebell here using the macro just to give it that, that kind of standout contrast against the background. And as ever, remember it has to be completely non-destructive. If you ever do this, make sure you don't trash any of the plants and flowers that you're trying to photograph. It's important everybody enjoys these. And who doesn't love an anemone under macro conditions to really get the detail of the flower? And one of the things with macro photography, even in these conditions, the way I'm getting one fortieth to maybe one hundredth of a second, slightest wind movement just disrupts. And so make sure you can either capture it when it's perfectly still or just take multiple images so that you can capture it when the wind is dropping. That is absolutely ideal. So I'm now going to capture some. I've still got the macro lens on, but I've spotted this really beautiful, outstanding clump of bluebells, one of the bluebell flowers, absolutely amazing, with the background of the bank behind it, creating that bokeh effect. You can see my composition here. I've just got the one single bluebell flower coming up Absolutely beautiful. I think I might need to change my camera battery in a second, but you can see the way that it's bouquet in the background. Absolutely lovely. I've got this one F2.8, but actually look at that. That is beautiful. I love that image at F2.8. There are so, so many fantastic compositions to be had in this location, in these wild garlic and bluebell woods, absolutely stunning. And the other spring flowers, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna leave you with this final image of a bluebell, which doesn't want to be left out because of the one I did earlier with the wild garlic. Um, if you have enjoyed this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And also, if you want me to return here, because there are so many compositions to be had, just drop a comment below. I'm more than happy to return it's probably going to be like this for the next two to three weeks, maybe a little bit longer, depending upon the spring. Okay, and uh, I'll leave you with this final flower and this final composition. 
please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and also check out these videos next. Thank you very much for your time in watching this video and until next time, thank you and see you soon.